If you watched my first episode of Adventures in Creating, I asked you to give me some feedback as far as questions you might have for my journey, maybe some suggestions how to make my videos better, but at this point in time, I don't have any viewers. <laughs> so I asked ChatGPT to ask me some questions that I am going to respond to. So first question, what role will AI play in your content creation process? So far, I have used it to help me come up with my business strategy, come up with my content strategy. I used it to create two websites in support of both channels. So I have AllieMikos.com and StrategicallyHelpful.com. Both of those websites were created by AI. Basically, I'm using it for every skilled job that is necessary in order to be a content creator. What are your short-term and long-term goals? So first and foremost, my goal is to share meaningful and valuable content. As with everything, the more you do something, the better you get at it. And I really love being creative and sharing information and I want to do a good job at it. Second, I'm interested in finding a community of people who want to engage with me and have meaningful conversations about things that we're excited about. Over at Ali Mycos, I want to connect with creatives and people who enjoy being productive and organized, especially in the world today. In the past two decades of my life, I have gone through many different financial struggles and I have found ways to be creative and organized and to achieve my goals in a budget-friendly way. And I'm still in that boat where we live by a budget and we have to be conscientious about what we spend money on. And so when I am pursuing things like making over my closet or renovating my house, I have to be creative in achieving the goals that I want to achieve because we don't have an endless supply of money at our fingertips. And so I have a pretty good track record of coming up with creative inexpensive solutions to my problems. And so I want to share those creations in the hopes that those creations will be helpful to others. And also I want to find out if people have things that they can share with me on my journey. I am an open book and I'm here to share my experience with you. How do you plan to document your journey? Adventures in creating is that plan. My hope is that by showing my growth in this area that I will provide motivation and inspiration to other people contemplating starting a YouTube channel. Hopefully there will be an obvious progression of my skill set and my presence on camera and the content that I deliver. I hope I can serve as an example of someone who can do it without having any experience in being a video filmer or editor or graphic designer or script writer or storyteller or marketer or social media poster. I am hopeful and optimistic and really encouraged so far by my experience in using artificial intelligence to help me overcome those deficiencies. My game plan is to find ways to create workflows, to streamline the process, to create a system that is repeatable and consistent over the next 12 months so that it reduces wasted energy. And that's great in theory right now, but I have yet to publish a single video. I think that's gonna be my biggest hurdle is just the desire to produce and then also the reality of what's involved in doing that thing that I'm striving to do. I do not have any heartburn that I will be committed to this process. I have been a creative person for a long time and I have committed personally to a lot of different creative projects that took a lot of energy and a lot of time. With everything, I enjoy the journey, I enjoy the process, and I'm really excited about the prospect to connect with people. And I think that driving motivation is gonna be what keeps me engaged. And I love to talk. And so I am not gonna have any struggles finding things to talk about every single week, that is for sure. Apologies, my dog is in the background making tons of noise. <laughs> is what it is and my husband does also occupy the space and needs oh boy <laughs> it is a family affair so apologies for the noise in the background so what can viewers expect in future episodes i'm sure my dogs will be making an appearance but hopefully i will be posting meaningful and valuable content what advice would you give to aspiring content creators okay i don't know if i have any advice to give at this point 
But my insight is I'm really engaged and excited about this process. Once I decided to go on this journey, I started doing some research and everything that I found out is so incredibly exciting. What I've been learning about YouTube and the business model that YouTube is following is that YouTube is committed to being a partner with content creators because YouTube recognizes that symbiotic relationship. They value content creators and they're trying to give the creator tools to help simplify that process. I guess the advice or insight, I don't have advice really at this stage in the game, but the insight that I can put out there is if you are contemplating becoming a content creator, I have not done any research into any of the other platforms, whether it's Facebook or Instagram or TikTok or Snapchat or all those other platforms. But what I have heard on YouTube is that they're not created equal to the way YouTube is created. It's like apples and oranges. YouTube is saying we want the individual to have the opportunity to create content because there's benefit to that kind of diversity. And so I just think that the future is bright when it comes to the future of YouTube. So I guess my insight is, if you're not familiar with the YouTube algorithm, there is a book out called The YouTube Formula. I will link it in the description below. <laughs> That's the first time I said that. And so basically the YouTube formula is written by an author who is very knowledgeable in the space of social, media platforms and talks about the whole algorithm and what YouTube's purpose is. And I just found it fascinating. If you are interested in becoming a YouTube content creator, that is something I would highly recommend beyond everything else. How will you measure your progress? I don't really know. What I do know is I am naive in the space of social media. What I hope to achieve is an engaged audience in the context that I hope um, you will consider engaging with me, leaving me a comment, giving me a suggestion, letting me know the content that you are finding valuable or maybe the content that you could care less about because that is my motivation is to put content out there that you find valuable and meaningful. If I have people who are giving me the thumbs up and leaving me comments and I can interact with you and say thank you or respond to questions, then in my opinion, that is a success. So beyond that, I would be interested in your opinion as the viewer. What would you perceive to be successes in my journey? All right, so it's a new day and I'm gonna wrap up with an exercise that's called Rosebud Thorn, which is where you identify or you highlight something positive in your experience. You highlight a challenge or an obstacle that you encountered and then you highlight an opportunity for improvement. So my rose for the week is definitely Descript. The task of editing my videos was something that I had no awareness or concept how I would get it done. So there was a little anxiety and trepidation on what that experience would be like. Descript made it a really pleasant experience overall. It was still a learning experience, but I was able to get through the software. It was very intuitive. And then the bud for the week or my opportunity for improvement, beyond a shadow of a doubt, it is definitely my editing skills. Now that I have the software to help me with the actual process of editing, I need to get a better understanding of what constitutes being a good editor and how to jump between scenes or cuts and make it a little bit more seamless and less jarring, but that will come with time. The thorn for the week, my struggle or my challenge, was definitely the lesson I learned about batteries and SD cards. So I'm using that as a learning opportunity and I now have a system in place to hopefully avoid that challenge in the future. And then the thorn or the challenge that I didn't even see coming was contemplating and preparing what I was going to use as the tags for my videos and as the description for my videos. I hadn't even spent any time thinking about those components because I was so preoccupied with creating a thumbnail and coming up with a good title. And I understand the concept from a high level standpoint, but actually putting it into practice requires a little bit more understanding than I currently possess. So the next thing I'll be learning is what information I should put in the description. Until then, I really appreciate you joining me on this journey. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up. If you are a curious mind contemplating starting a YouTube channel, I hope that my missteps and my errors help you save time and energy in your journey. 
So that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode. I hope you're having a great day, and I really am looking forward to making the next episode and continuing to follow in my adventures in creating. Bye.